guys know, because I said in my last vlog, we're off skiing, but I wanted to start the vlog here because I have a question to ask, specifically aimed at Joe because he's just told me I'm only allowed one suitcase, but how the hell do you pack for a ski trip when everything is giant and puffy and like boots, like for example these moon boots, which is super sassy by the way, they're going to take up like basically half of the room in my suitcase. Then you've got to factor in the fact that I have this giant jacket and also this giant jacket and then on top of all of that I've got to fit in other stuff like ski suits and jumpers and boots and then we haven't even got to the fact there's a makeup bag and hair products and hair stuff. I feel like I need a lie down. It's because you're trying to be bougie on a ski trip. Well, obviously, who isn't trying to be bougie on a ski trip? I'm there for the gram, okay? But I don't, I just don't, I physically, I'm going to have to do a Joey from Friends and wear everything to the airport. Yeah. Like everything. And just, I don't, I'm actually generally worried. I, I, was, I actually was joking to Joey and said I was going to buy a vacuum pack to try and like suck all my clothes, but I didn't do it because I thought it'd be all crushed by the time I got there. So. We'll see how it goes. We'll, we'll give you an update guys, as to how the packing has gone. Here, where are we? We're in Geneva, that is where we are. I was just about to say we're in Val d'Isère, <laughs> and I was like, oh, we're not Not here. yet. Oh, that's really, really bright. Um, so we got up really early this morning at like three o'clock, and we met the squad in Gatwick. So in the car we've got Gabby, we've got Lucy, Hi. and we have Joe in the front. He's been stuck with the girls on the journey to Val d'Isère. Um, the packing situation last night, guys, was a little bit stressful, I'm not gonna lie. How I managed to get seven days worth of ski clothing into one suitcase, I will never understand. Don't recommend it to anyone. Um, but yeah, so we're in the car now, and we are heading to Val d'Isère. Apparently it's like a three hour journey before we arrive at our chalet, which I'm all very, I think we're all very excited to see the yeah, inside I of the chalet. Yeah, I cannot wait, and I cannot wait for the cheese fondue. That's all we're talking we about. We are actually so excited about this cheese fondue. <laughs> well, I'm hoping it happens tonight. So yes, yeah, so we'll see you guys in Val d'Isère. That is one epic McDonald's drive through Don't see that every day. That's why Komodo said we stopped off here because, you know. How was that, guys? Did everyone enjoy their McDonald's with a mountain view? It was like the healthiest <laughs> McDonald's yeah, very healthy. ever. It's that fresh mountain down. air. So we just had to stop off at the side of the road next to this. I mean, that actually looks like a postcard. It doesn't even look real. It's like I'm superimposed onto like a green screen or something. It looks amazing. Absolute views on views. We have officially arrived at our chalet here with Crystal Ski. We've got our reps in their turquoise jackets taking us in to find out where we're staying for the next week. It's very exciting. Look at the little spread on. It does smell like pizza. It does smell like pizza. Pizza cider that smells like pizza, right? Yeah? Pizza hut. Pizza hut. That's a bit more in. What a view. Oh, I'm getting dripped on. So I've gotten very excited over the fact that apparently they bake us a cake every day. And this one looks amazing. Freshly baked. Just oh, you're, you're, you're a little bit backlit. I've never prided myself on I my I feel like maybe you need to go somewhere in between the two. Alright, there you go. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Mm, I don't know. That's like, I swear that's bigger than the first <laughs> one. This is like cake cutting lessons with Joe. How oh, not to cut cake. I'm not, I'm not a professional What in the are kitchen. you doing? It's people, like you're making a stained glass pe window. People want different sizes, that's the thing. You're giving them options. Yeah. Okay. So we are currently going to eat cake in the chalet. And then we have our ski boot and ski fitting. Very exciting. As Joe says, it all becomes very real once we've got that, doesn't it? Then it's happening. That's and it's when real. We're out there. It's really happening. Really good. I want a specific coloured ski boot though. What, white? Yeah. So you blend into the snow. You white or just black, like all black everything. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you can be picky with your ski choices. I'm going to go in and be like, no, sorry, that doesn't match my outfit. They're going to be like, you can leave. Lay, how is it? It's so, actually, I haven't even tried it. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> it's such an influencer. It's amazing. Okay, wait, first impressions. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. It's moist. You ate that so perfectly. <laughs> it's moist. Yeah, Mary Berry would be impressed. The ratio Great between the um, sponge nice, small, and small, the small. strawberry jam yes. is phenomenal. <laughs> it's great. Yes. Where are we so going, guys? Pete just said that he's going to do the paragliding. Pete, is doing, Pete you're going to do the paragliding. paragliding. I'm basically part bird. <laughs> <laughs> From behind. And part dolphin. This, yeah. this is tomorrow's activities that I'm still debating whether I'm taking part you in. Do it. I know, I haven't even got my skis yet. <laughs> Let me do one thing at a time, because that's actually where we're going right now. We're going to go and get our skis fitted. 
have a little walk into town. I'm going to go shopping. I'm yeah, going to find a toboggan. Toboggan. <laughs> Beats off. An old baking tray, like back in the day. <laughs> and um, yeah, we've got the squad behind us with Lucy and Tommy. Please. Tommy's actually action man, so he's got his own ski boots. What? He doesn't, yeah, he's not here to fuck spiders. No he, just he knows what he's doing. Once, Lucy, I'm surprised you don't have yours. <laughs> yeah, no, but I mean, the fact that he's even got them is just pretty sassy, if I'm being completely honest. Upstaging us all, that's fine. This view is just insane. <laughs> I don't think looking at mountains is ever going to get old. Yeah, never. It reminds me of like the Windows desktop. It does. It, does. it doesn't look real at all. That's why I feel like when people take pictures in front of mountains. Paragliding. They are paragliding. Guys, this is what apparently they want us to do tomorrow. I'm, I feel like I'm gonna have FOMO if I don't do it. So I might have to. I've got Louis, the pro skier here, explaining how I put a ski boot on. Do you think the inset on them is like wild? Inset? Yeah. Oh, that was so much easier. So what much did you easier. do? Just undid all the boxes for you. Guys, look at my sexy then... ski boots. <laughs> wow, it's a look. Excuse me, sir, would oh. you mind? Hey, you got some sassy ones. How did you luck out with those? Oh no. Wait, how did you? You jammy bastards. Oh my god. Yeah, they're all taking the piss out because I just pulled my helmet and hat. Sorry. Helmet, guys. I've got a helmet hat. Smaller one. Oh dear. Also, this is not a look. It's all the gear in the back of the taxi. We've all been loaded up. We're officially ready to go on the slopes no for dinner oh look at this look it smells unreal look what these girls have been doing for us oh my god yum so what have we got here go on give me a give me a chef bit this is a creamy beetroot ricetta oh my god yum Oh, that sounds amazing and camembert oh you missed the best bit <laughs> Yum. I love that. <laughs> All of it. All of it, literally. Oh Me and Gabby basically said that we've just come here for the cheese fondue, well, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you going to ski? Just sit here and eat cheese. We're starting out with our starter of parsnip soup. Uh, so Got the whole squad here. Euro. Family Euro. dinner vibes. <laughs> Day one on the slopes. All geared up. Taylor's currently getting a help over here by the pro, that is Louis. Yeah, Louis tells us everyone with everything. No. We're all feeling slightly apprehensive about this, but um, here we go. We've all just been saying that I've really gone for that look today, which is kind of claiming that I know what I'm doing, but I don't at all. But we're faking it until we make it. So now we've got a little walk to the slope, and then we're going to start a ski lesson. So Layla, myself, Joe, and Pete have got a little ski lesson. Just, you know, three hours ski lesson to get us used to skiing, because everyone else here is pros. It's Joe in his sassy new jacket. We're going to be on to it. We are. So yeah, so by the end of today, we're going to be great. You guys watch the space. Um, Layla's saying this amazing vintage-y I know, retro I feel like ASOS I, I feel like something out of like Save the Bell. What was it called? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Save the Last Bell or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, we've got, the squad is actually on the moon. Look at us all. This is great fun. Look at that. We have arrived at our lesson. We've got everyone here. We've got Pete learning to ski currently on one ski. He's the only one out of us who's never skied before. I mean, not that I'm a pro at all. But I have skied when I was 13, and then I went for a lesson last week with Joey, booked ourselves into the Milton Keynes snow zone, or whatever it's called, um, just to give myself a little bit of a... I just didn't want to be that person who had absolutely no idea what they were doing, you know? So we're going to see how it goes. It could be very interesting, but um, yeah. And this is actually right here, is where I learned to ski when I was 13, which is quite cute. So I'm back again to get my uh, skills on point. You ready to go down? I am ready. I feel like I've picked it up. We're going to have a race with these little ones. <laughs> The sad thing is, is they will win. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Well, I made it in the ski lift first time. Oh, we've also got a whole bunch of new friends. <laughs> <laughs> we've lost Layla like. and Pete and the instructor somewhere. They're down there. It's so really far down. It's so far down. It's so far We've just made it to the top of the mountain and the view is unreal. Insane. Having a little pit stop with the gang. Yeah. Uh, yes, please. Water would be amazing. This is the most amazing view I think I've ever seen. This is so freaking impressive. I know. I love how our glasses are reflecting everything. It's so sassy. It wants to be us like with pros when we really can't even walk. 
No, but to be fair, we've actually done, really, actually done, done really, really well. Yeah, we have done really the well. The instructor said he's impressed with us, didn't yeah. he? Yeah. He said like by the four, he was like by Thursday we'll be able to do like a red swim. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so. I mean, I'll remind him of that when he puts us down it and I'm like, yeah, literally. Other guys are probably on a black seat. I know. The rest of our team are literally like <laughs> skiing pros, but it's fine. All the way through. Yay. Like a pro. I know. I, I felt like you were getting so good at it. He's actually yeah. mental. I feel so proud of myself. I want my poles though, so I look more shoot, 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 shoot. How good does it fit? I absolutely love it. It's so good. He's one officially day, absolutely nailed it because this is his first time skiing ever. And the instructor's just like. Smashing it. Literally. Black run. <laughs> <laughs> Here we come. Goals. So we are done with our skiing for the morning. Um, we have all been so surprised at how well we've actually taken to skiing. It's nice because it means we know we can just enjoy the week now. And it will be fine. Um, so now we are having lunch at the refuge, I think it's called. It's unreal. I'm going to show you guys the view. The squad's all here having a drink. Just great vibes, really. This is the lunch spot, guys. Squad's down there. But what a view. It's just unreal. It's beautiful. Yeah? Just as good as the Look at that backdrop behind Pete. Look at that. Literally. Pete, I've got to get a Surely picture. Got, surely you got to have a picture there. No, no, yeah. <laughs> Can you just get out of the way of the view? <laughs> so believe it or not, guys, we are about to ski off a cliff. I literally can't believe we're about to do this. It's a bit mental to think about And by, by, by that, I actually mean my paragliding. But on skis, I'm, I'm, okay, I've got vertigo. I'm absolutely petrified of heights. So the fact that I'm doing this is like mental to me. The thing is, if they can <sighs> only see, show them the view that we can see right now. This is about okay, right, guys, look just, like, at this. Fly. We're walking up that little hill there and we're gonna just basically be strapped to someone and fly off it. But I basically had decided that I've got to do it because I'll get FOMO if I don't because everyone else will do it and be like, that was amazing and I'll hate yeah. myself for not doing it. Plus, it's always good to do something outside your comfort zone. <sighs> so yeah, that's this afternoon's activity, shucking ourselves off of cliffs. <laughs> we made it to the end of the cliff, guys. Look at that little ski setup. That's the ski setup. Oh, this is gonna make people sick. What are you guys doing to me? Yeah, so I'm going down there. Oh. Oh good lord. Oh, I know I can't actually believe that this is happening. Look at them all setting this out. It's all very intense. Oh they just run off a cliff. This is just not normal. Ready? Come on, Harry, you can do it. This is Sarah's voyage. Her maiden voyage out there. survived <laughs> she's good <laughs> so we have arrived back from skiing i look like a state but it's fine we're all alive joe also had an absolute moment, right moment he got yeah. basically essentially stuck up the mountain and had to come down a, uh well what i would say is probably a black run for joe My own fault. on his first day of skiing and he spent most of the time on his ass we made it. But you're alive and that's fine. Also, I'm really, I'm a little bit worried that I might have a slight sunglass tan line. It might have happened, but it's fine. Anyway, look what we've come back to. We've only bloody come back to a chocolate cake. I mean, that's not even just a chocolate cake. That's like a mother of all chocolate cakes. Oh, that looks so good. Yum. I also cannot believe that I paraglided and survived. I mean, that is a... It's a special moment, that is. Moment. It was a very, very nervous Sarah at the top of the mountain. I wasn't talking to anyone. Everyone was trying to talk to me and I was just like... <laughs> just waiting to go. But you know when you're like in your head and you're like, you can do this, you can do this, you can do this. And I was like, if someone talks to me, I'm like in the, I'm in the zone, you know? There was a bit of wind problems as well. So that the was guy was like, oh, the wind might be not good enough. I might not, have to, might not be able to do it. And I'm thinking, well, if the wind's not good, I just want to say no straight away. Don't tell me that there's a maybe, but... He made it. Then he gave us the spiel that he'd been doing it for 30 years and he wanted to do it for another 30, so he wasn't going to jump off a cliff if it wasn't okay. He knows. So. Um, cool. Now we, uh, what are we doing now? Eating afternoon tea, chilling out. 
having a great time, really. Relaxing, you know, just recovering after the first day. You definitely need to recover. I need to recover. Everyone needs to recover. It's going to Tell be some them what happened. Wait, no, so you actually you went down the mountain because it was the end of the day. It was really icy. I didn't do the paragliding, so I was like, I'll just ski down. But it was a red run, and I had my first day of skiing since I was 13. And it's very icy. And I slipped, I fell once, lost my ski, started sliding. Someone got it back. And then I had a tactic where I was going down quite nicely. And then I hit a pole, fell again, lost Didn't my ski. Didn't you slide for like 100 metres? Slid for about 100 metres. Lost my other ski, trying to use it as a brake. And then uh, eventually stopped in a big pile of snow and then had to wait for people to come and rescue me and give me my skis and look at me like I was an absolute moron. Apparently they were looking at him like, what are you doing? Are you How here? are you here? So that was good. You are actually thrown into the deep end. That's all we can take but from that. I'm going to kill it for the rest of the you trip. You are. Now. I'm expecting big things from you. Yeah. So just from first looking at it, it looks to have held its moisture really well. Mm -hmm. um, Joe and Andy are basically very, very raw. They, they actually are. are. <laughs> Pete, what do you think of the cave? Uh, I think it's very lovely. It's mm. got a real moist texture to it. Um, it's quite bouncy and soft to the touch. <laughs> We've all turned into like we're on the plug -in. Great. What's it like, Lee? Didn't it it's take awesome. a, every single word I can think of, but it's really good. How do you get off the chair, Lee? And then you go, So you just stand up. <laughs> there is no way it's going to look as graceful as you guys just made it. <laughs> so we are all ready for day two out on the slopes. It's not quite as nice about this day. We've got proper snow. So um, it's going to be a test of our skiing skills. And he says we're in for a bit more of a, an interesting session, shall we say. We've got another lesson today with our instructor, who we love. So we're very excited to see him. We've got my, um, I feel like I look like a professional skier today. So, get ready for some professional skills. Sarah's on. Uh... Currently having our first chairlift experience, guys. Went on a chairlift in a long time. The hard, we got on it, but now the hard part is actually getting off. Where are we going up there? The chairlift. We've got Louis here. Louis giving us some expert tackers <laughs> on what we're doing when we get off this, but I have a feeling it could end in disaster. I hope Andy's at the top ready to film because it could be quite funny. Yeah. <laughs> so, our first session of skiing. Oh, got you. <laughs> Caught you! <laughs> Our um, first morning boots, that was so funny. Oh, smoker. Um, you've lo I've completely lost my train of thought. First morning. That's it, of skiing was good. Weather's a bit questionable. I fell over on a chairlift. My coat is like so, moist. Uh, yeah, I haven't fallen over. I got chairlift is fine, fall. guys. I just, I just Nailed it. Down, relax. I, I've discovered that I really don't like kids skiers. No. Way. They get very, it's quite like scary, isn't it? Yeah. Pete obviously doesn't care because he's no. just speedy Gonzalez and he's like, shush, 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 yeah. shush, 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 I definitely have my outfit ready. <laughs> uh, I don't, but we'll see. Do you see. know what you're going to wear? No. Currently, probably a hat because I don't <laughs> want to take my hair. Oh, I had a helmet on all morning. Yeah. We look like wet dogs, so like, you just see these little strands. Like I, I feel like I smell a bit as well. Like, I smell like moist. I just smell moist. Oh, it's not normal. Um, it's horrible. Maybe it's yeah, that's why I love saying it's people hate the word moist. <laughs> Moist. Some people hate that word. It's great. I love it, it's a great word. But that is actually the definition of how I feel right now, so... Yeah. <laughs> What's going on here? Priorities. <laughs> the weather's no good for skiing, so... This is the next best option. What have we got in here so far, then? A lot. Those are banging, those baggers. A whole yeah, selection. That guy who helps you with. Lucy, what do you want? Giant strawberry, please. Giant strawberry. <laughs> Guys, we've come back and look what there is. No need just any. Oh, oh, it's it's so drizzled. It's actually it's stuck. stuck. <laughs> this is amazing. Oh, oh. Yeah, let me hear that sound. We requested a lemon drizzle, and what have they done? Made us a lemon drizzle. Yeah, it smells nice. Amazing. I saw that. I saw that. 
Oh, that's, that's got the lemon, lemon kick to it. Oh, I'm so excited to eat that. So after this morning's slightly failed ski outing, we all went back. Um, I actually had a nap, which was totally unplanned. I didn't even mean for that to happen. And now we're heading to Coco Rico I am really for a bit of an apre. I know, I'm actually so excited. Oh, and I'm so excited that we're wearing normal shoes. Yes, oh, no, so I got my uh, moon boots like on. Nice. I know, it's so nice. I feel like I'm walking like, normally, not like some weirdo. It's yeah, actually it's the <laughs> weirdest feeling ever. <laughs> it's so nice. On the moon. Yeah, literally. She's like, yeah. Like, there's a car coming towards us. Um, but yeah, but we were laughing, saying we're probably going to be the bougiest people in here because most people come to this place straight from the slopes. And we look like we've we gone back home, basically to get rest. Shower, grew our hair. Literally put some extensions in, <laughs> had some lemon drizzle cake. I mean, it was all going on. Champagne. Here we go, Gabby is doing the honours with the world's biggest bottle of rose. Toffee vodka is coming out, guys. It's only going downhill from here, really, isn't it? But it tastes unreal. We're up bright early this morning because half of the group is going off ice diving. I'm joining, but I'm not doing it. I'm just kind of, no, it's not, doesn't really sit well with me. I paraglided off a cliff. That's probably me done for the holiday. It's also so snowy today. It's like actual lizard, but it's so pretty. So that's the plan for this morning. And then I think we're going tobogganing, sledging, whatever you want to call it. But look at the snow currently. This is some serious snow conditions we've got today. I look so cool through the lens. Uh, watching a vice diving with me, aren't you? Yeah, I've got my sandwich in my foil. <laughs> <laughs> my oh, but you're so clever. <laughs> so Lucy's the only one. Oh, actually, is Gabby doing it? I hope Gabby's doing it. Yeah, I hope she's for your like sake that. as well. But um, we're, we're, I rate Lucy for doing this, I must say. But I kind of, you know, had to do this. Yeah, thing. these are the suits that they get to put on. They're saying they look like Star Trek. It's also a little bit weird that there are feet attached. But it looks like you've got one of those costumes on where it's like you've got. <laughs> <laughs> that is so weird. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> what is going on? It's freaky. How do you feel? Uh, quite uncomfortable and warm at the moment, but I think it's going to be worth it. And they're off to the frozen lake. Never experienced Jomo more in my life, but it's going to be interesting to see what see what happens when we get down there. It literally is like Avengers Assemble. <laughs> Gabby, you look so pleased. <laughs> On Earth said, today I'm going to dive into an ice lake and make it an excursion. I mean... I just, I'm really confused. I just oh, so cold. Oh God, man down! <laughs> <laughs> when you, well, you literally went in there. You basically <laughs> ice dive <laughs> tragedy. <laughs> it, oh my god! What Why would you want to get into that? that? No. So confusing. Guys. No. They just sort of chill there afterwards, like a wet fish. How was that, Scuba Steve? Oh, that was nuts. <laughs> <laughs> So we've arrived at lunch. We are at Le Solstice. Yes, nailing it. And it's very bougie in here. And the view from our table is unreal. It's also nice when you're skiing and you come inside. Oh, hello. And you take all your layers off and you sit here and you just feel really cozy. It's something I'm really quite enjoying about skiing life. Right? Yeah. Hi. <laughs> so this is the view from our table. Looking right out onto the Val d'Isere slopes. Okay. Squads slowly but surely all coming in to sit down. Apparently there is pasta and pizzas on the menu, so I'm very excited about this. Absolute dream has just arrived. This is my favourite thing in the whole entire world. Black truffle risotto, of course. How unreal does this look? It smells insane. Wow, a day. We have the gang walking up the mountain. Oh, ready to sledge. No, not like you are a clever boy, Wixie. You are a clever 
We're currently out here shooting in a blizzard. Can't see anything. Oh my god. Is he alive? Oh, we found him. Andy Ryan. Alone in the mountain. What's happening? We're going soaking. It's a full on storm, but we were just saying this is the only place you can enjoy a snowstorm. Whereas, like in London, you'd be like, this is awful, but here it's much colder. Anyway, Tommy, action man of the group, has gone all the way up to the top to see if he can get the fastest time. So he can fucking cane it down the hill. We've been doing some, what I would describe as extreme it's sledging. Extreme sledging. I mean, look at the weather. Like, Look. Watch out, Sarah. The speed on the man. Wowza. He did it. He got the flying fox. Yeah. Joe's just going to finish it off with a little flying fox down here. It's easier way to get down. It's pretty flat now. I, up with I was going to say, I, was like, I don't even think it's got anything in it. I mean, what a day. B, how's your extreme sledging? Do you know what? The sledding <laughs> bit lovely. The walking up mountains bit, not so lovely. To be fair, though, we, we have didn't done, enjoy that, did we? We haven't done too much exercise today, so. I've, I've genuinely to genuinely To be fair, much. you did ice dive. I'm the, oldest, I'm the oldest person on this trip, and I'm feeling it today. I feel like everyone's granddad. Wait till the end of the trip. It's fine. We'll have a few bevies later, and we'll forget the whole thing. <laughs> right, so we're currently heading up the stairs to chalet number four because Andy Ryan. Creative director of Komodo, if you don't know, um, is doing a, doing a quiz for us tonight. So uh, we're on a team together. Yes, we are. And we call ourselves Saz and Gabs, which, by the way, we should have our own TV show. Because she's Saz Oh and my god, the tunes are on. We're heading up. Uh, it's going to be a good time. We're going to see we've got the wine. I'm excited. I don't know about anyone else, but I'm excited. Andy Ryan, the quiz master. <laughs> The blue skies are back today and we are officially going up on the slopes. I'm so excited. We all feel like we've missed skiing. So we're very excited to get back up there. We've got a lesson again today. So hopefully we remember everything. No falling over. Maybe we're going to master chairlifts even more. Who knows? Um, my jacket today as well from Boda Skins. It's very sassy. I feel a little bit like the Michelin man. But um, I like the colour of it. And then I bought this little head thing while I was out in Val d'Azer. A little faux fur. And I've got my Noughts and Kisses Sarah Ashcroft Sunnies on, ready to slay the slopes. So we somehow managed to get the whole squad in a gondola, which is very exciting, <laughs> considering there's no queuing system here in France. It's kind of every man for themselves. Oh, we're slaying. We're looking hella colourful to me, just by the way. <laughs> here we are. So, um, eventful morning on the slope. I basically stacked it at first into a massive pile of snow. Want to do these things because it makes you like more confident to ski. Layla also just, Layla. as we were stopped at the bottom, oh. flew past us at 100 miles an hour. She was like, I think it was a red run, and we were like, No, stop! And she just like, she just falls on the floor. And we thought she hurt, but luckily, she's okay. She's okay, but it's been a bloody eventful morning. What is it? All right. Oh no. It's been hella eventful, and now we're about to get to the end of the chairlift, and I'm worried it's going to happen again. So skiing is done for the morning guys. We're now officially lunch vibes, which I'm very excited about because I'm starving. Um, as you can see, we're sat at this very cool, um, it's kind of got a beach bar vibe, but we're in the snow, which I'm living for. I uh, don't know what the name of it is. Yes, exactly Pete, thank you for the geography. Uh, so as Pete said, right behind me here is a frozen lake. Um, don't know, anyone know what it's called? I see Lekki. I see, I see Lekki. Um, and I can't remember what the name of the restaurant is, but I'll find out. So yes, yeah, so we're going to have lunch and wait for the other guys who've been on some wild trek. skiing trek, because you know they're the action man, action man group. 
Anyway, I need a beverage because my body hurts so much, but I'm alive. I made it in one piece, so that's the main thing. You're good at speaking French. What's the name of this place? I think it's called Bar Ouillette. And it's also La Plage. What's that? The beach. Oh. You can see, we're at a beach. <laughs> so we've got uh, Croc Monsieur's going on here. Uh, Layla and Pete have got some quiche. My hands are so cold. Some I'm literally chips. eating it in the tins. It's the hardest thing ever. <laughs> These look great though. I'm so excited. There's steam coming off this as well. Ooh, I'm going to warm my hands up. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sarah, you got to intro it. Oh, Jesus Christ. Sir. Right, wait, this is the most bizarre thing I've ever seen. Sarah, you got to intro it. Uh, we've all been chatting about our shit tats this evening, and Joe's decided that he'd get his noughts and crosses and his ass out. And I announced that I've actually never done it. So Pete has jumped at the chance. I couldn't wait, I've been waiting all week to see Joe <laughs> So, um, yeah. So, do you want to go for it? I mean, it is. So, do I can I do it? I didn't, Joe boy. I'm well, thank you. Stuff. Yeah, I'm excited about the uh, end result. <laughs> oh, this give me a. Ooh, ooh, shit. So, let's not have a draw. Oh, shit. We need a winner here, we need a winner. So, update. Sarah's. Not so sad. Oh, God, just get hit him for a draw. To draw, oh. it's a oh. slight empty climax on the arse. Yeah, Have you got any death hole? Because we'll start again. <laughs> we give him the scrub down. There we go. Hold on. It's really not coming off. I've heard that bit on there for a while. Oh, Jesus Christ! Oh, it's exciting. Oh, tickles. <laughs> yeah. Sign it, Sarah. We should have a picture yeah. of this as well. <laughs> Stand up to rest. So, um, Peter, what's the On the last day on the mountain. Last day. To... It's very emotional. Getting ready to Not do. I've got any voice, but hey, wouldn't be a comedy show if I didn't go without a voice. Who needs a voice, exactly. Sarah's rocking the retro ski suit. Oh, it's from Snow Roller. Snow Roller. Yeah. Ready, ready for folly later. We're shredding up the slopes and then going to Although, look folly. at the weather. You don't see anything. It's a bit bizarre. Yeah, we're in a cloud right now. It's kind of scary. But hey, we're pros now. We're pros. We are pros at skiing, so it doesn't matter. Wish us luck. Here we are, above the clouds. Never ever gets boring. Look at that cloud through the mountain. Look this view. So we are actually back from skiing now. Um, annoyingly, for some weird reason, the footage that I filmed on the last day has formatted really weirdly and has basically wiped the whole thing. So really nice. Not ideal. Folly. Honestly, skis. technology. Um, but yeah, so on the last day we went to folly. Bit of ski mobiling, folly. And, and then. Just mental. Yeah, I've never seen anything like folly in all my life. It is crazy how lit that place gets. A mental party up a mountain. It actually is. Um, so yeah, and then it was just like final dinner vibes at the chalet. But we had the best time, didn't we? The best time. It was so much fun. Like it was, I mean, Komodo always do such good trips. Not like I'm biased or anything. Oh, oh, my lash just got stuck in my bottom lash. Um, but they do. And the... Just the group was so much fun. We all just got on so much work. It felt like we were away from mate with mates that we'd just known for ages. It's like a day one, everyone was like best mates. Literally, it was just such nice vibes. So, yeah. Thanks, Kimono. Thanks. Um, and Crystal Ski, of course. They were amazing. Um, I have actually put a link in the description for you guys if you are interested in procuring Crystal Ski Holiday. This video is by no means sponsored by them. But I just thought, you know, why not? Because we did have a great time and they're... Not too expensive, pretty reasonable priced, good company to go with. So, yes. Anyway, um, that's it from us. Thumbs up. I know, we survived Two the skiing. Um, but, yes, we will be back soon with another vlog, I'm sure. Possibly a Thailand one. Surely. Watch this space. Um, but, yes. Anyway, thanks so much for watching, guys. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye. 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 You make yourself laugh when you wave at the end of my vlogs, don't you? Bye. Also, you, you look like you like wrapped yourself up like a like a cocoon. I'm ready for bed. Yeah. Okay. Well. Good night. Bye.